Hey, what's going on? Reaction Costanza here. Gonna watch Venom today. The big V. That's right. Not for Vendetta, but for Venom. Now, shocker, I've never seen this movie before. I only know that uh, Thomas Hardy is in it. How do I know his name is Eddie Brock? I'm not a fanboy, disclaimer. Mm. However, I did see all of the Spider-Man, the animated series. So I do know, and I saw Spider-Man 3, that the symbiote comes from space. And then blah, it gets on Eddie Brock, the photographer. This looks like fun. It's a little weird, though. He's not this villain. I think there's some, like, thing played for laughs in here. I honestly don't know what the hell is going on with this, with this Venom. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give it a like and watch Venom with me. Here we go. One, two, three. Click. Sony, it's just refreshing. In the big Disney Marvel thing. But there's that Marvel thing. Waiting for something to pop out. Like oh. combination control, this is LF1. The specimens are secured and we're heading home. Now one mission control your break down. That can't be good. No oh, Venom has a passport. I think in the cartoon they did a thing in space. Huh? Tell me what happened. There was some kind of breach. One of the astronauts sent a distress call. One of the astronauts is still alive. Huh? Is it me or does that look kind of like a DHL truck? Oh, that's right. It passes on. It passed on to her. Life, which is interesting because there was that Ryan Reynolds, Jay Chillenhall movie, Life in Space with an Alien. Oh, and I'm a Bay Area guy too. One in Sunshine. Wait. Dude, Michelle Williams is in this? Wow, you were in a suit? Yes. I love it when you wear the suit. Thank you. Hey, let me know how your meeting goes. Oh, he's wearing a warrior really? shirt. They're such powerhouse actors. They could probably like do this half asleep and just nail it. You know what I love about this view? You never get so it's computer generated. Yeah, well, uh, heist, not really my thing. I got you the big one, exclusive. Yeah, who? Carlton Drake. He's, uh, he, he's seriously off. Now, you're just gonna ask him about his space program, you're gonna thank him, and you're gonna bid him a nice day. He's a crook. Eddie, when you had nowhere to go, we gave you a home. Now, you know we love the Eddie Brock show, but no one is above the network. So do me a favor, Eddie. Don't start your shit again. No one is above the network or the law. Are you going to behave yourself tomorrow? No. I, I can't. No, and I do my job. The guy you work for is a complete... I don't work for Drake. I work for my farm, and my farm works for him. But we don't want to repeat... A repeat? ...of the Daily Globe incident. Baby, you were run out of New York. I wasn't running. I was going to places. In fact, I moved to San Francisco for you. You are my home. Let's talk in more kids. All right, let's just get the check. It'd be cool if when he becomes Venom, she's like, I really love you, but this is an improvement. Well, the PG-13 sex scene. There it was. I hope you didn't blink. <laughs> Have you ever in your whole life gotten up in the middle of the night and had a glass of orange juice? Ooh, and they're engaged. Oh, that's crazy. And that's how one day we might all live in space. Ooh, huh? Guys, this is Dr. Skirts. Say hi. Skirts? 
Um, sorry to interrupt, but it's time to get changed for your interview. That's Jenny Slate, obvious girl, I think. 24. That's still extremely young, right? You create the life foundation. Overnight. And then rockets. They weaved it into Musk and Bezos. That's cool. So I have to ask, how does that work? You know, with exactly the life foundation. I don't know, how does it go about, say, testing pharmaceuticals? Eddie, we're what? talking about the rocket here. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm talking about the allegations. Eddie. It's true, right? It says that you recruit the most vulnerable of us to volunteer for tests. Go Barkley. That's it. Bob, Don. There's so much reflection. There's just so many people who walked. Have a nice day. Okay, never got me. We're not finished. Yes, you are, Mr. Brock. Hmm. He kind of looks like Bob Saget. You're fired, Eddie. Huh? I can't trust you. Hey. You are pathologically self-absorbed. Your ego requires constant attention, and you're stubborn as hell. But I was willing to roll with it, Eddie, because I loved you. What you did got me fired. Huh? You used me. Eddie? Sucks, bro. I kind of dig this. It's different. They need to show this guy as being really evil because it's pretty soft. Oh my god. <laughs> You're beautiful. They're all so excited in the background. The responder chick. Ooh. Even though it's a prop, it's still gross. Uh oh. Oh, good kill. It's kind of like the girl in Wolverine that had the, like the Freddy Krueger thing. Ice the old lady. Oh, she healed her. Oh, fun. There was a movie called The Hidden from like 1987. And it was like a horror thing where some like, alien thing went from one person to another. These creatures need to bond. Re it's actually fun. They hit to survive for any amount of time in an oxygen rich environment. It's equalizing. What is she doing in this movie? Let's begin human trials. Good work. I'll tell you what, I will <laughs> give you 20 bucks. But not to sit, right? Deal. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> Yet he's like a humanitarian. Ah, aches and pains, you know, aches and pains. You look like shit. And you look as beautiful as ever. You've been meditating like I should. No, I have not, and it does not work. It doesn't work because you don't give it a chance. No, it doesn't work because I bought it. <laughs> Why is she so upset? And it was in Mandarin. Ah, fuck any chance. Uh oh. Let's go. Before the price goes up for my protection. Life hurts, Eddie. It just does. The Buddha said, we're born and the suffering begins. I'm not even asking to staff there. Why would he do that? I can't use my name. I can use a pseudonym. Any name. I think you pick a name. I could be a woman. You seem to see. See, they make these pop culture references. I bet the majority of the people that see this movie have no idea who Tootsie is. Thank you all for bringing us to this moment. History starts now. Huh? Let's get to work. How exactly are they going to do this? Put me through. There's no need to be frightened, Isaac. This guy's going to get melted. Open it. Huh? Clearly, he's some homeless dude they grab. Oh. Here. <laughs> Somehow it's just gonna fall out of a window onto Eddie Brock or something. I'm actually curious as to how. I know 
to follow people that did not want to be followed. You have to know how to disappear. I was pretty good, but you, know, you, whoever you are, you suck. Everything that you accused him of, you were right. It's all true. I don't care anymore. Really? Because he's not a lab filled with poor people, and he's using them like guinea pigs, and they are dying. Mm. Why would I believe you? Because it's true. Why does he have to walk her over there? That was everything I ever cared about. You know why? Carlton Drake ruined me. Finished. Now, if you are who you say you are, genuinely, and you have proof, then you should be very, very, very afraid. Is he like talking quiet because he's worried someone's gonna walk by and hear him? All right, good night. Is that the missed out firehouse? Eddie? He's always just walking by, and uh, I, I saw Mr. Belvedere. There's I a dude. Was his welfare, so. Eddie. Dan, this is Eddie. Yeah. Oh. Eddie. Hey. Danny's told me a lot about you. I'm, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you. Really? Well, look, but you got to catch up. So I'll see you inside. Really nice meeting you, man. Yeah, you too. He has a key. You know he has a key? You look good, by the way. You, you doing good? What are you doing here, Eddie? I'm here because I miss you. Can't really believe that we're not. You did this, Eddie. Not Carlson Drake, not the network, you. Uh, hello, this is Dr. Skirt. Yeah, I said you brought here. Are you sure this is gonna work? Stay down and set up, please. Drake sent a ship on a recon mission. On the way back, they found a comet. A comet? Onboard computers indicated the presence of life. We brought back some specimens. Talking about aliens? But we don't call them that. Yeah, they're specimens. Symbiotes. Symbiotes? Oh. They cannot survive in our environment. Derek is trying to put human beings and aliens together so, so they can live in space. We call them hosts. Symbiote. I always called it symbiote. I imagine this is a complete loose adaptation and that real fans probably didn't like this movie. Surprisingly, I'm digging it. Oh, they got her. That's not good. Oh. Oh. Fine, you can sing to me. Oh, and there it is. And there it is. Oh. <clears throat> this is like the superhero porn movie. Go right through it. Was it me or was it just nighttime? Where the hell did he go? I see it, man. Pay now. Find it. Skirt, yeah, it's me. I just got back. But yeah, that's a great call on the lab. You're absolutely right. Oh, I got a bunch of photographs. Can you just call me back? Call me back. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to become an alien that makes me eat a bunch of frozen tater tots. Oh, here we go. Mm, what is wrong with me? <laughs> this is cool because it's like a horror possession movie. His blood pressure's back to normal. Liver function just too. I knew it. See, his body just needs time to adjust. Find my symbiote. Now! I'll tell you the truth. Susie, come on, come here. Susie, can you tell her that it's an emergency? Food. Ah! Who said that? Can you please tell me where she is? Great, thank you. 
No, I broke into the life foundation. Eddie, you look like you're in a bad way. Oh, I am in a bad way. Eddie, Jesus! This is dead. What, he doesn't like rare steak? It's a very picky alien. Oh is anyone else hot? No, please don't. I hope he's Oh, he's... <laughs> he's still an officer and... Please don't call the police. They call an ambulance. I'm a doctor. This would read as a manic psychosis. Yes. Whoa, what a blast! <laughs> Eddie, can you hear me? This is Dan speaking to you. Welcome back. Where am I? Uh, you're in the MRI. <laughs> What's happening in there? Shut it down. Coming out. I'm never going you're to right. an MRI again. Yeah. Here, look at me. Look at me. But for now, go home, get some rest. I'll call you when your tests are in. All right. I love it when the boyfriend of the ex is a nice guy and they play it like that. Simeone is thriving. Good. But once again, it's it's killing the host. It's consuming his organs. Now, watch this. <laughs> Sounds in the four to six thousand hertz range are very harmful for it. Well, then don't make those sounds. Sorry to interrupt. I thought you'd like some good news. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Ann. Well, Eddie, you have a parasite. I'm hearing a voice. Uh, an auditory hallucination is actually pretty good. Oh, hey, Dad. How, how you know, I didn't realize that you were, you were on the call, too. Hey, Dad, with this parasite, would, would it like, be able to make me, I don't know, like climb a really... Really, really tall tree, but super, super fast. Yes. <laughs> we are going to get you on some meds, and we are going to clear that out. Yes. <laughs> Eddie, we're just trying to help you. I'm just going to call you back. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Oh, I love that shot. Yeah. Hey, can you turn your music down, please? Because I'm having a really hard time. Whatever. Uh, yeah, sure, man. Yeah, I'll just turn right down. <laughs> Thank, Sorry. You. Thank you. Do not open that door. Burn the yeah. headphones. You can still have. Stay put. I'm gonna need Mr. Drake's property back. Whoa. What a bunch of wusses these henchmen are. Take him down. I'm so sorry about your friends. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Bite all the heads off the bottom of the corner. Shit, man. Oh. Yes, I love a window jump through. Whoa! What the hell? Dude, how did you do that? Found the I have a parasite. He's achieved symbiosis. You seeing this? Please bring me back my creature. Eddie. Yes, I knew there was going to be a mirror scene. I want a Venom voice in my head. Mirrors that fire like yellow with like blue. Oh, Big Al's. Broadway. It's the strip club area. I've driven my Honda CRV on that street. Not nearly as fun as that. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. 
Ooh. You have been a serious pain in the ass for me, Eddie. My angel, please. Here we go. Full body makeover. Eyes. So, so many snacks, so little time. Eat him, Venom. Yes. Oh, that's dope. Yes. And think of yourself as my ride. We need dark drinks, rockets. Cooperate, and you might just survive. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to San Francisco. My stomach's tight. I don't even notice it sometimes. But that, that whole motorcycle sequence, that was pretty good. Oh, and there's the latest host. was an old Halloween movie like six or seven or something where Michael Myers spirit got passed to a little girl like her Eddie I need you to tell me where you are I'm coming to get you no you you cannot come anywhere near me you cannot come near me right now you are up Badass. Oh, that's like a spider-man Batman thing See, normally he'd kill him, but they can't make him a full bad guy. No. Nope. Oh, that's cool. So his voice of reason. And just needs to do another MRI. No MRI. No, no, no MRI. What? Why? Sound frequency in MRI is really harmful for him. What? So oh, and that was sound the, is like his kryptonite? the airplane. Oh, she said kryptonite. Fire and fire. He's talking to you. Always. Oh. Are you lost? I would have liked to have known how she got there. I'm not. Oh. oh, and then he'll become the villain in this, that he'll fight. You're killing him. They do not know what you're talking about. We don't want to kill you. We have to get out of here. Oh. Oh. Anywhere other than here. You don't think we have a little bit okay, of think we're here with this thing. Complicated, man. But, Dan, I uh -oh. promise. There's nothing going on between me and Eddie. I'm not talking about you and Eddie. Anna. Oh. I'm talking about that. Where is it? The lost symbiote is going to find its owner through the dog. Dare I say this is kind of genius at times. Where is he? I don't know. And you know what? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. This is the last time I'm asking you. Where is he? Oh. Where is he? It's two? You know, Brock, I have no use for you. Your friends, the others, I apologize. I tried to keep them alive. There are more of us. Millions more. They will follow wherever I lead. But first, we must retrieve him. I bet at the end, the bad guy's venom kills him. Now it doesn't matter if you kill me anyway, because there's something way bigger afoot in this world than you and me. 
much better than me. I don't believe you're gone. Let people do some cosplay action with that. Whoa. I did not know it was her. That's really cool. Got me. Drake's got his own symbiote. He is unstoppable. Oh, great. We have got to go. We got to go where? Where are we going? Well, I'm coming with you. Not today. Oh, that's bullshit. The comedic lines are fun. I don't want this to end. If we do not stop Bryant, he will come back here with millions more of my kind. What were you going to do? You were going to go and feed on the whole planet? Yes, <laughs> but it is different now, Eddie. I have decided to stay. <clears throat> on my planet, I am kind of a loser. Like you. <laughs> this is hysterical. We could be more. Excuse me? And I'm getting to like it here. He's a loser on his planet. He can be popular on, on Earth. Did you hear me? Initiate the launch. Right? He has got shit you have never seen. <laughs> what, does, I mean, what are our chances? Pretty much zero. Get in the rocket. No. We won't let you destroy this world. You die. Why can't the symbiote crawl up my ass? This is so much fun. This movie's totally working on me because I'm rooting for Venom. I like want Venom to win. Ooh. 30 seconds. Oh. Dude, he just ripped it off of him. Oh. She's just like turning a knob. I'm fighting ugly, man. Hella ugly. Oh, okay. Right. This guy is the biggest little bitch villain in the history of comic book villains. This is the next stage. Uh oh. like a friendship. <laughs> We're going to space, bro. Let's go. He climbs like a monkey. Great. Awesome. I'm joining the public defender's office. I'm a good person, Annie. What about you? What are you going to do? I scored the interview of a lifetime. Oh, yeah? Who? You're going to have to read it. Oh, like everyone else. Hey, I'm sorry about Venom. Aww. Hey, um... It's like his buddy. Do you want to talk about that kid? It's like Ted. Oh, that? You call that a kid? No, that was your buddy's idea. Oh, great. Well, that is good to know. Look at her. She has no idea we are going to get her back. Uh, I don't think so. Eddie, is there something you want to tell me? Uh, no. You belong with us, Eddie. Eddie, are you sure? Uh, 
Good lord, look at that. Look at the time. I have to, I have to go. Hey, don't give up on her. Huh? Either of you. We won't. Who is that guy? Okay. Wait, this thing looks delicious. <laughs> Deal is, you will only ever be allowed to touch, harm, hurt, possibly, very possibly, eat. Very, very bad people, but never, ever, ever good people. All right? Fine. Hey, Mr. C. Mm. How are you doing, Eddie? Please. I can't keep doing this. Now. Bad guy, right? Yep. It's like a horror movie. I'm right. rooting for the monster. You come in here again, and then we will eat your face <laughs> right off your head. Do you understand? What the hell are you? We are the hell. <laughs> What was that? Oh, I have a parasite. Yeah. My name is Jay. <laughs> Not CGI. Real Sam Quentin. I need you to stay quiet. This is a me thing. It is not a we thing. You got that? Fine, but make it quick. Hey, man. I got a visitor for you. Oh. Hey. Well, nothing like a crazy Woody Harrelson. The whole creepy serial killer thing. I'm here. When I get out of here, and I will, there's going to be carnage. Oh. He's carnage the red. Okay, Venom is a total blast. Now, if you're like a fan fan, you probably don't like it because the whole thing is like made up and not authentic, minus like a little bit of it. Two people that are lost and disenfranchised found each other. You know what it is? It's a fucking bromance. It was a buddy movie, like Ted or something. Like when they were apart, him and the symbiote and Venom, you, I, I literally wanted them to be together. I wanted Eddie and Venom to win. I was rooting for them. That's insane. Villain is terrible. He's the ultimate wuss of a villain. There's nothing evil about him or his henchmen are just totally soft, as soft as could be. The ending fight stuff was very video gamey, which I'm usually not a fan of, but because I cared about the character, it didn't really bother me. I thought this did its thing and I liked its thing. And that's how Costanza reacted. So, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Throw a like on there. And I'll see you next time.